To create a function in Kotlin, what you'll need to do is use the keyword fun and then the name of your function. So we could create one called hello world and you'll have open and close parentheses and then open and close brackets here will give you a function that you can call. Now, if we were to call hello world from somewhere to call that, again, our main function is going to be called because we have a little run button here. If we want to execute what's whatever is inside of the hello world function, we would need to call the hello world function. And we do that by just typing the word hello world, the name of the function here with the open and close parentheses. Now, if I were to run this, you would see that nothing is going to happen because inside of this function, we're not really telling Kotlin to do anything at all. And you can see it, the program exited. If we wanted to do something in here, what we could say is we say print line. And what we could say is hello world inside of here with double quotes. And then up here, when we now run it, we'll see Kotlin will compile it and we'll print hello world right here to the screen. Now we could change this function name to something else. So let's call it something fancy like purple cow. So we have purple cow here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that name there, purple cow. Anytime I call purple cow, it's going to print hello world. Again, we'll just double check that here to make sure. And there we go, we see hello world here. Now the cool thing about functions is you can call them over and over. So I'm gonna copy this, go to a new line. I'm gonna paste it again and again and again. So if you're wondering what's gonna happen is due to the procedural nature of Kotlin, it's going to execute this code, so which means it's going to walk into this function and it's going to run whatever's inside of here. Now it's going to, and then after that, it's gonna come into this function and call into whatever is inside of here. So basically it's gonna call this purple cow function one, two, three, four times. So we should see print line of hello world four times down in here in our run window, which we do, we see hello world. Now the cool thing about functions is that we can actually change what's inside of them and it will change anytime you call it. So if I realize I have in my application purple cow called four times and I wanna change this to say, oops, you know what? This should actually say hello purple cow. I can just change it here. Now when I run it, we should see down here, hello purple cow four times. So we'll see hello world purple cow. There we go, it shows up four times. Now I can also do other things inside of this function. So a function is just a place where we can put other code that we would like to call it over and over and over. So it's kind of like a reusable piece of application code that you can use over. So if I were to do something else, I could say print line, uh, hello there. And now what we're going to see is hello purple cow and then it's gonna print hello there, but it's gonna print that four times. So if we run this here, you're going to see that it's going to call hello purple cow, hello there, hello purple cow, hello there. Because what's happening is each time this line of purple cow is called, two things are being executed inside of here. Now functions can also call other functions. So this just kind of makes sense because inside of the main function here, we're calling another function called purple cow, but also inside of purple cow, we could also call another function called moo. And maybe this function might just say moo, and we'll call a function called moo, and inside of here we'll do print ln moo. Now what will happen is when purple cow is called, we'll see hello purple cow, then we're gonna see print line is gonna be called, uh, hello there is gonna be called, so hello purple cow, hello there, and then the purple cow function is going to call the moo function. And the moo function is gonna say moo. And so if we were to run this here, you would see that it's going to call, here we go. Hello purple cow, hello there moo. Hello purple cow, hello there moo. So now I can actually change this around if I decide, hey, you know what, I wanna move, um, I wanna move this up here. And I wanted to change this to say, um, hello pink cow or let's do blue, let's do hello, hello blue cow, and we'll do moo. And now if I hit run again, we're gonna see, what do you think was gonna happen? We're gonna see hello purple cow, moo, hello blue cow, moo. And so we just see moo between each one of these because that's all that moo is doing. And then we could add something to this if we want, of course, to say moo moo buckaroo. And if I were to run this again, we would see all different types of stuff here, so. Kind of makes sense. Hello, purple cow, moo, 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 buckaroo. Hello, blue cow, moo, 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 buckaroo. Say that 10 times fast. So as you can see, these are just very simple functions, but the functions allow you to reuse code. Now I can also come up here and say, I could say, I wanna do uh, moo right here. 
and I don't really want to have it here. So I can kind of use these reusable chunks here. In this case, we're just going to say purple cow once, we'll do the moo routine, and then we'll just print purple cow. And so, like I said, each one of these functions allows us to have reusable chunks of code. So we started off with hello purple cow, hello blue cow, and then we did the moo, moo buckaroo, and then it went back and executed the purple cow function three or four times. So this is how you create a very simple function. This function has, as you currently see, no return type specified. And because we don't have any return type specified, what is actually returned is a unit type. And we'll talk about that here in a second, but if we leave it off there by default, any function that does not specify a particular return type will return a unit. So we'll get to that in a second.